soup again. This is the glow room with my, uh, as usually, Lord of the Ring LCG playing. And it was a bit time for a while. I was busy with the things. I didn't make any new videos. So, just not long time ago, I get two new quests: is a Morgul Whale and a Stone of Eri. Yeah, and yeah, I tried to make some new videos about that. And actually, about Morgul Whale. That video will be about that video will be about Morgul Whale. I tried a lot of different decks to try to make this quest solo, it's quite a difficult one, and the best, even the Torin Company deck cannot do nothing <laughs> against this one. So in the end of the day, I see one very interesting uh, deck, make it by Tr Tracker1, he's a very very cool guy on the FFG forum, and one of the best in my opinion, maybe he's the best player, a lot of the ring LCG. He always do the really amazing decks and you know, always have some very interesting idea. And he suggests me to, to, to play this deck and I try it and it's very funny, it's very interesting to play. And I was so I like it so much and I uh, even try all the quests with that deck. But it was not so, so successful against all the quests, but still it's quite good and it's a very funny deck to play and uh, I want to play the deck against this quest and see what happens and probably I can win because it's very interesting. Idea. Here's the Dal here, Frodo and Mary, and the Dal here is the God. Yeah, he's attacking the staging area in the good time. is about seven attack, and your threat is always down around twenty, so you don't need really bother uh, the, the enemies coming to you. So you questing and kill them, questing and kill the people in the staging area. Yeah, and also you remove a threat and all that stuff. It's very very interesting deck and specially made specially to win against that quest so let's try and see what happened right okay let's go so let's play the marble whale the last quest in the third cycle against the shadow okay i will shuffle the deck a bit as usually uh, and of course i will shuffle the encounter deck I want to people see everything, so it was not like a cheating or something. It's like a game, like a game. You just sit and play until you lost or you win. Yeah. This is a very, very interesting one, and I think we have a lot of fun now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, by the rules, first thing what we should to do is to draw six cards. So, we draw it. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I didn't get the weapons, which is very important normally. But I have time to get the weapon. But, 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 but it's a good. I have Arwen. She's a very good one. Eh? Probably it's not the best beginning. I have faint true. But you know, yeah. Probably why not? I can attack him for three anyway if I put the curation down here, which is not bad. I suppose. Yeah, let's try, let's try. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure, maybe it's not a good idea to start like that, but let's try. Okay, so the rear guards. Sit up. Aside, we're gonna do it all the things. Yes, that, that to the tower. Murzak and one copy of Morgul in the staging area. So, we need to kill Murzak to pass it. Which is quite difficult actually, but if we will like it, Murzak it, it, it will never come here. So draw the card and start the game. Okay. A lot of trust reduce and nothing really what I really need. So probably I should to wait a bit before I will play the Arwen. But at the same time Yeah, let's risk let's risk Arwen. Arwen in the game. And we will quest for four six. And see what happened. Ooh, he's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. Six, seven. So we have seven. So I lose by three. So I lose by three. I lose by three. Yeah. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm six. Six is nine. Yeah, it's nine. So I lose by three. I'm 24. 24. And 
the travel phase we will move from the model well. Encounter is nothing really happened, we don't want to take anyone. And down here we'll attack staging area, plus one attack, three, the guy is dead. Which is very good and very fresh. 125 and draw the card. Wow, that's what we need. That's card we was needing from the beginning. So it's a dagger on Westonis. Bam, and down here now attack by four or by five. It depends on the threat number. Actually, it's supposed to be five normally. Yeah, this is already not bad. And then, and then, and then. We will play probably Curich on him. It's a bit risky. Probably with the risky, you know, it's a risky. We get some bad treacheries, can be cost out the game. Let us wait a bit, it's not a so big deal. We're going for six again. And make him two in case you never know what can happen. Six. Okay. The dead city looms. So that is the Minas Morgul. Actually, it was my word. Favorite castle in the book. When you use rise each player thread by number of progress token on the tower. Aha, uh -huh. if there's no progress token on the tower, it's gain search. So let this gain search. It's not a big deal. Okay. Terror draw them. Yeah, the one progress on the tower and the search. So okay, let's deal with that. And the next one? Ah, this is a bad boy. But it's okay. This guy is okay. So it's six, is three, is exactly three. To pass the model well. Not so bad. Beginning is always easy in that case. It's always easy, but it doesn't mean nothing. So I will attack. Since we don't travel, do nothing with it down here for five. And we will attack the model guy. So it's minus two. The bodyguard gets three wounds. Right? He will die on the next round. I'm sorry, I have one here. Yeah. So refresh. 126 and draw the card. 2 2 2. Very good. Now it's time for the courage. It's quite an interesting idea actually. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I can play Matan, but okay. We're still okay. We're on the way. We need a light. Made a lie. So we're going for six as usually and see what happens. Oh, that's the bad boy. The Morgul Searcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. We have four. Oh, it's not a big deal. And he will come. Doesn't matter. You want it or not. He will come. And of course, we'll get a shadow card. And actually, I can take the attack undefended since I have a lot of threat to reduce. Yeah, probably that's the things what I'm supposed to do. But I attack only three, so I cannot kill him. So this means Frodo next round should be standing there and trying to do something. But I can attack him twice. I can kill him anyway. So science and defend too. So let's do let's do the defend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I engage with the player, but I don't have other players. So attack C defense two by Arvin, so you get one wound. And I attack the The bodyguard is dead. Better always to kill that guy. He's not really a good guy. He's really really a uh, Morgul Sorcerer is a really bad guy, and I love the thematic of that card. It's really nice about the rules, about the game, about the token. Sounds like this guy is from Numenor or something. Oh, I got the card. Which one I really need? That's what I need to draw the cards. Yes, yes, yes. Now it's very interesting. So we're going for four, and Frodo will will uh, be the fence tree. So I want to do Difference with the Frodo, probably, probably yes, probably, maybe not. Let me thinking about it. I need to draw the cards, and there is no locations now. Yeah, it's very interesting actually, very interesting. 
<laughs> That's what I love about Lord of the Rings. There's always, always many things that you can do and which one is do the best, you never know, and someone can see better than you on the stuff. Anyway, we have four hammers so we can draw the car, but we cannot kill the guy. That's the problem. Yes, probably, probably I need a Frodo to kill him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can faint him, but faint on him. I should wait until the Nazgul come. This guy is really bad. This guy is really bad. Yeah, okay, so we're going for four. I think it's the best things what I can do, really, is going for four. And probably it will be enough. Okay. Rises per thread by one. That is not a big deal. Why not? 28. We're okay about that. Okay. He got his shadow card. And the Frodo will defend. Nothing happened. Frodo not get the wounds. And yes, now we attack twice. First we attack the guy in the staging area. So I attack two, three, four, five. So it's three wounds. And next time I attack, but only for four already. Not only for three. The Morgul Searcher because I'm two and one because his threat is 128. Yes. And then I will refresh. And I will be 29, which is already a lot. I draw the card. And now it's time to reduce the threat. That's for sure. And that's what we will do. 29 minus 6 is 23, right? 23. 23 is not bad, not bad. So we're okay. Now I need some allies. I'm lucky I didn't get the location. Uh, any I didn't get any location, so it's really lucky. But if I get location, I will stuck with the willpower. So I really need the allies. It's very important things now. So okay, we're going for four again. And four, will be three again. So see what happened this time. Oh, the master malice. This is a very bad card. And actually, for this, I have test of will because I don't want to lose my allies. Yeah, that is the really bad one. So we're still okay. And uh, yeah. It's the same story. We got a shadow card, Frodo will defend. And you then take it into additional shadow card. Yeah, that is not really nice. Okay. Some player plays one progress token to the tower. Or to this attack and defend it. Or to this attack and defend it. After the number of tokens in the middle one shadow cards. So that is very interesting. So you will get another one card. And probably I can treat this attack undefended, it's not a big deal. Yes, I think I will treat this attack undefended. So next card is... Return again to the staging after his attack. Okay, it doesn't help him actually. So attack is undefended. So I get 3 threat on the front end, 26. And the guys go back to the staging area. But it doesn't help him against... <laughs> against down here. First attack against him. The guy is dead. So, the guy is dead and we use the four hammer. We tap the dagger and draw three cards. One, two, three. I got the Hobbit Pipe and the Allies, which is very good. And then, next attack, I can kill the Murzak. But I don't think that's the deal. Murzak is still can be there. I'm not ready to go further. I'm not ready. So we refresh. We'll keep the Murzak there for a while. I think I, think I have one, yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure. One, two, five. Four, twenty-seven. Draw. That's what I need exactly. That card is a really amazing. Now I can attack your array for three, five, seven. Which is very good. Which is very good. But it's not the one what I'm really concerned. So, Hobbit Pipe and Frodo. This is an amazing card. After the trade is reduced by event card effect, it's just Hobbit Pipe to draw a card. That is a very good draw. It's a very, very good draw. And now it's time for my super power at your swordman. Yeah, something like that. Now it already sounds better. So we're going for 4 and for 6. And Frodo is 3 defense if something happens. 
Oh, that's the bad baby. She's coming, she's 25, which is very bad. But it's okay, so we're going for six. That is a five. And she get one, two, because for each, not counting with the quest, she get plus two attack. Okay, but then we use the Aaron Council. We move three thread, I'm 24. So, and this shoe will not coming, and then I will use the Hobbit Pipe to draw the card. Very good, and I get good meal, which is also very, very good. Okay, and okay, engagement, so I'm 24, I don't really care about them. And of course, down here we'll attack and kill the spider by 3, 5, 7. It's very good, the spider is dead. Funny deck, yeah? <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, refresh. We are refreshing. 6, 25, and I draw a card. It's not a Hobbit pipe. It means now I will get two cards. If I play the event which is reduced the thread, I will get the two cards. But this is very good also. Okay, so I still need to play the good meal on Frodo since all these events cost money. And then I will play another one, Questor. For two, this is the West Troll Traveler. Actually, maybe it's not a good idea, but still, I need them to quest. So, I don't have any location, that's quite funny. I don't have any location, that is really funny. Okay, I think they will coming soon. Probably, I need to draw cards as well, but now is much better. I can go for six and throw this three, and now is much better. See what happened. Oh, whoa, Lieutenant of Mordor. He's the bad guy and he's trying to do his treachery things. A sleeping malice. Reveal the card. Reveal the real card. Okay, so it's not the truth. It's not my discard. Trigonal card. I'll place one progress on the two tower. Trigonal card is not really a good idea, so we put the progress. Okay, I was lucky. It was sleeping malice. It was lucky, 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 lucky. Okay. So I have six and there is a four, so it's not a big deal. And now we're coming to attack. And the uh, Haldir will attack and attack by seven. He's dead. Or actually he's going to the victory pile. And now the question, I'm ready to kill them with Zak or not. And I'm still believe I'm not ready to kill them with Zak. I need more cards. Because the second stage I cannot leave this guy for the long time. Yeah yeah, I still need to wait a bit until I will build up my army draw oh that's a good card and I think maybe probably I should to I should to take that card from the graveyard because it's nothing to do with my threat reduction but I need but I need the test of will because there is a couple of really really bad treacheries the high threat and the master malice yeah, probably I think I need to do that. So I play for one to get that test of will. And yeah, I feel much better myself now. I feel much better. Okay, faint is good. Faint is good. So we're still going for six and throw this three. See what happened then. Ooh, 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 ooh. But there is no damage to question here, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. The six, there is the three, is nothing happened, but he's coming, he's attacking Frodo. Rise the thread by eight, which is many threads, so it's one, 27. Okay. And down here attack him, he's dead. And probably second attack, I can attack the... Him, but I still, still think he's a bit... He's a bit... Early. 28. So we're coming back to 28 as you see, but let's take time to build up the army. Okay, Song of Troll is good. It's a very good card, so it means now I can use Mary. So I have a lot of resources actually. There's still no location, it's very funny. There is no location. I'm not stuck with the location, which is very good actually. But, but there is some bots there, yeah. So we're going for six. And there is the location. Okay, it's two. Four. Very good. So next round. So I'm moving here. 
and I'll know nothing, I just refresh. 29. I draw the card, very good, 4, 2, 1. And now we play the Matan here. For what? And Dwarf and Tomp is a good card now for draw. As you see, but I need more allies, I need more allies, I need more allies. That's for sure. So now it's time to really quest. So it's 6, Frodo is 3, 8. Yes, 8 and see what happens. Okay, that's the really bad card. But his most funny things, he's doing 3 for sure, 32. But the funny things because... Kind of number we're going to do the staging area, but I cannot take this card because it cannot leave the staging area, it cannot leave the staging area. So this card is not count because the treachery is never count as a card in the staging area. So it's nothing really happened, just get three threat, that's it. So I'm eight and it's two six. So I put, I will, I passed it in response after Mogul Road leaves plan as a color replacement, the first player may remove one progress token from the tower, give one damage to them in the play. So of course I will remove one progress token from the tower, and then my ancient Maton will trigger. And I draw three cards. One, two, three, and it's much better now. Really, really much better. But I'm still 32, which is not really cool. So, 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 so. I will play the Dwarf and Tom for one to get the Elzin's greeting back to my hand. Then I discard the good meal. To make a win cost minus two, and then for one mana, I will play the greetings. I minus six, so I have 26. And that sounds much better now, because I have a lot of cards. I think now I'm ready to move. Probably. And don't forget, when I reduce the thread, I tap two Hobbit pipes to draw two cards. One, two. Amazing. That's what I need. I need more lights a bit, but it's okay. So maybe it's time to done with the with the mozak. Maybe it's time to done with the mozak. Probably yes. Let's kill the mozak. He's dead. Mozak is dead, and this guy is coming. Now we go to the second one. The betrayal. So Lord Alcaron, who used to work with us, now he's against us. Nominorian guy probably, yeah. Traitor Gondor. Ah, he's a Gondor guy, he just straight him. Okay, draw the card. Five, it's good. Nazgul will be very surprised. So let's see what I will play. Of course I will play this guy. It's very important to play him now. One, two. So now the, the both of them will quest for three, which is six already, which is very good. They will play another good meal on Frodo. Yeah. Oh, we got this card. Actually, forget about it. Okay, I was quite stupid. I forget to play that card. Hmm. And a question. Will I want to put this card on the down here? You know, I think I will put this card on Frodo. Three. Yes, this card I will put on the Frodo, and now I'm ready for everything, actually. So we're going for six, which is good. Yeah, it's okay. We're going for 6, 8. 10 for the tree. See what happens. Oh, treasure fork. The first player plays 3 token on the tower. Reveal 6 in the club and become taken as a team get Oh, that is not really. That is not really something what interesting. But I can put one progress token. But I think it's not so really good idea. I will cancel it. It can be very bad sometimes. You never know, it can be very bad. Okay, now. Now, now, now. These guys want to attack. And we don't really want his attack. Yes. We don't really want it. I can attack by 8. And it's quite interesting. You know what is quite interesting? Yes, I must... To, to kill them in this round, I must have spent 2 cards. Which is not really funny, but why not? He's coming anyway, one that I don't want, and then I can put him back, but then I attack with only by... Ah! I'm sorry, I can attack only 3, 5, 6. So I should to keep him here. So, okay, he got the shadow card, and I feign him. He's standing there, which is very good. 
And I'll attack two, three, four, five, <laughs> five, six, seven. So maybe there is other way how to do that. I faint him, attack him, uh, one, two, three. It's not really funny. I cannot deal with this guy, yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem, one. One, two, three, four. Sends only four, yeah? Four, five, six, seven. So the guy still have one life. One, two, three, four. But he's not attacking me, that's good. So we refresh. Eleven twenty-eight. I'm drawing the card. Six, one, three. Yeah, now it's time to replace the dagger with a spear. So I put the spear and the dagger is going away. The spear is better. And of course I go in for six. Eight for the string in the case of something. Okay, two is doesn't really matter. Okay. This guy is standing there. And in the end of the engagement phase, I should to play light and dark by discarding the good meal to make it for free. Put him back there. So he's not gonna attack me. In the beginning of the arch and the, the face, he's a, he shoot me for one, two. This guy. And then I'm attacking for two, three, five, seven. It will be enough to kill the archer. And of course I will use the spear of the mark. And for hammer. One, two, three. Very good. And then I tap courage and I will attack him. And he will die. Okay, the Nazgul is come and the the white bridge is come and we must reveal one card. Okay, the Morgul Whale now is coming. Okay, okay. I cannot do much actually here. And we refresh. Okay. 29. Draw card. And there's one here. Two here. Three here. Actually, I think the quick strike can do some things here as well. Okay, let's put the dagger on the Mary, so he can be very helpful with attack. Let's put the girls here, we need her now, because we need someone to quest. And all the cover will need her a little bit later, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So we fre 6, 8, 10, 12, throw this 3, 12, 14. Wow, that's the really bad boys. That's a really bad boys. 14. 14, 14, 14. So let's calculate. 2, 3, 7, 10. Very good. So the bridge is not really important. So we're going to the marble well. It's better. This guy is really bad. And I must take them too. <laughs> He's coming anyway, what I don't want. But those guys is really bad. I cannot leave them there in the staging area. Because they will make a lot of problems for me now. I cannot leave them there. <laughs> so what I should do. That's a very good question what I should do. I should to take them as well, otherwise. I cannot spend this, cannot spend this. Yeah, I must take them. There is no choice. That's really bad actually, but what can I do? In the elongation phase, I play the light and dark. It's cost me two. And this guy is going back. And he will go the cards. Because I cannot do nothing with that. So I must feed the guy step by step. 
Yeah, he's eight, which is very bad actually. Yeah, eight. Eight is a lot. So let's play faint on him. Let's faint him. <laughs> he's a really bad boy, huh? I'm trying to kill him, but it will be very difficult. Probably should make different way. I should make different way. Ah, no, no, I can't attack him. I can't attack on this seven. Okay, two, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. He's dead, and he is refreshed because of mere ability. And now I attack for seven, but Nazgul didn't get only one. Good, good. So we refresh. So it's a bit change everything, but but thirty. One, one, two. I get another knife, which is good. Which is good. Let me take another knife. For one. And the pipe is not restricted. No, it's not. It's good, 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 good. It's okay. Six, eight, four, three, three for any case. These guys will stay here for that. Eight, ten. We're going for ten and probably twelve. Because we need to fix that. Oh, I'm sorry, I forget about the mention my tone. Yeah. Hmm. That's what I should do. Oh, uh, another more good well, 10. So we have a lot, so we'll fix it anyway. 7, we passed. And we got 3 cards. 1, 2, 3. Another hobby spider is not really important. So we're going again here. He's coming. He's attacking. And you know what happened? He will die. Rise, but try to engage with him. 4, 34. <laughs> You want it like that, yeah? 34. She's dead. So attack. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5. It's completely enough to get damage to him. And at the end of the round, he's back. And we refresh. And it's 14, 35. And drop. Is the Arvin. I don't really need her. Because she's there. I can put the COVID pie because it's limit one per character. But what can I do? I can put another guy for die. And yeah. Probably we're going again. Six, eight, ten, twelve, and Frodo is three in the case. It's an allocation. So it's five. Seven. We passed it. Doesn't matter how you look on it. And I will remove three thread and I use the Hobbit pipe to get two cards. So one, two, which is very good. And I will use the Guardian Greetings to reduce another six. So I'm going to 26. Oh, why not? And I'm going here, I can make a damage, which is very important. He's coming here and I put him back to the staging area for two. So he will not even attack. And then he'll attack him for seven. This is another wound and we refresh. 15, 27. So is that everything okay? I should to finish now. Okay. I think I'm finished now. If I'm lucky and nothing will really happen. So we'll put that girl here for two. Six eight. So it's six ten. 12, he's 3 and she's standing there. 12, for any case, 14, to be sure. Wow, that's the bad card and we don't need it. That's what I said. 14, minus 5. So he's 9, we passed and we make a damage to Nazgul now. And of course, he's coming, he gets his shadow card, and I play faint on him. And we attack him. And it's five lives, he's more than enough, he's dead. And on that moment when he's dead, the game is over. Amazing! This is a very, very good deck. 
made it special to win again this quest. Try to make amazing job. This deck is very funny. I never see the before how you can use the Hobbit pipe in that case. All that stuff down here is really shining here. I love it, love it. Tracker is bay. It's amazing job, man. You're really finding it. This deck is something incredible. I try to make, I try to play all the quests, but I think with some additional, this deck can be also very interesting. Maybe the Mary is not a really important guy. Maybe I can put someone else. But yeah, you need a lot of starting threat as well. But still, it's very, very interesting deck, and I love it. I love the idea. Every card working together, very good. Every card working together. So that's that is a really nice job about the deck building. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really good, solid, solid deck, really solid, very really decent deck, yeah, that's what I like about it. Okay, I hope I don't make any mistake, I will check it out now, and if it was okay, I will upload it. And I hope you enjoy it. So the next one will be Stone of Eric, also I need to play the, still need to play Touring Company against uh, Lake Town, against Smaug. I think now when the Hobbit 2 is coming, I think it's very, very thematic <laughs> to play against the Smaug. And... Um, yeah, the Battle of the Five Armies. I forget about that one. And I'm very excited about the Nightmare Packs too. I hope we'll get it soon and I can play it again too. Okay. Happy New Year, guys. And I hope to see you again.